started in London with a full tank of fuel and here we are in Hollyhead with, uh, you can see there, just, uh, just over half a tank. So, right, so I'm in Hollyhead now, down on the beach waiting for the ferry. Um, we're on an 8 o'clock ferry tonight. Often the ones that leave in the evening or, or right in the middle of the night um, are often quite a lot cheaper than the ones in the daytime. Um, so if you do want to save yourself some money, then uh, pick one of those. And obviously you've got your bed in the back of your camper as well, so you can queue up for your ferry, uh, go for a sleep in the back, and uh, when it's time to board, uh, they'll wake you up and on you go. So we're just heading to Hollyhead Port now. I've bought my ticket online. It's normally best to buy it online if you can. Uh, it's almost always cheaper, and obviously if you turn up to the port, there's no guarantee that you're going to get on the boat if it's, if it's already full. Make sure you've got your booking reference number. They don't seem to need a printout, just, just have the booking reference to hand, uh, and you'll need your passport as well. So here we are at Hollyhead Port. Um, there's lots of confusing signs. Uh, best thing to do is just look at overhead, uh, find your ferry company, uh, and make sure you follow the signs that have got pictures of cars on it. So I'm Irish Ferries. So when I booked my ferry, I didn't know what the registration of my vehicle was going to be. So uh, instead of entering the registration, I just entered the words hire car. And um, all the ferry companies accept this. Um, you just need to make sure that when you uh, get to the actual terminal that you know what the registration of your vehicle is. So I've taken a photo of mine so I don't forget. Hi there, I've just got the number on the phone. There you go. Terminal three. Thanks Perfect. Time. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Right, now we go through the customs bit. This is a bit where we need to not look guilty and then when we go through. Although every time I go through here, I always feel like I look guilty. And the nice lady stopped me. Hello. Yeah, no problem at all. Survive customs, off we go. There's normally people telling you where to go, like this nice guy here. Now, Hollyhead Port's not blessed with wonderful facilities, so suggest if you wanted a bit of food and you might be in the queue for a while um, get some food in Hollyhead before you actually go into the port. Dublin, or you can drive right through the centre of town. Um, 
if it's rush hour, uh, the port tunnel is definitely the best option.